Hi, this is Toby Sarnelli, associate producer on Elemental Fallen Enchantress. In this video, we're taking a tour of the world you'll be exploring, conquering, and bending to your magical will. Before you challenge the other kingdoms of Elemental, you must first explore and conquer the uncivilized parts of the world. While some areas are hospitable, sections of the world known as Wildlands have been twisted to their breaking point. These must be cleansed before they can be claimed for your people. Our previous video showed a battle in one such area, a diseased wildland known as the Asak. Plague-infested creatures hunt in deadly packs, and the swamp contains deep scars that only a channeler can heal. Scouting parties will also be needed when exploring the Benadmi Fissure, a bottomless chasm that is home to Abex, an elemental lord who will strike down any that approach the chasm's edge. They say the beast can drag an entire army into Benadmi's horrifying depths. And in the Burning Lands, fire and smoke envelop plains of ash. Here, Delin, the pyre of man, is said to dwell with an army of drakes, bone ogres, and fire elementals at his command. But there are rewards for those who can conquer this region, control of its ample fire shards, and a trophy for your kingdom, the heart of Delin. The world is rich with areas such as these, Kurgan's tomb, the Lombard desert, and the pits of Namtur to name a few. And since each game world is created randomly, every adventure you embark on will be unique. We hope to see you next time when we take a closer look at the role of magic in your rise to power in Fallen Enchantress. Thanks for watching.